Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, if you've been following me now, um, I've been doing questions about heaven segments. This is where I invite you guys to contact me via email and my email is below in the description with all your questions about heaven, ghost, alien, anything paranormal, okay? Because not only have I seen ghosts and spirits since a child where I've spoken with them and learnt what they can do and what they can't do and why they stay. I've also been a psychic my entire life and I've also had one of the biggest NDEs that even Dr. Raymond Moody said one was, was one of the most in-depth experiences he'd ever heard of, right? So please use my wealth of information, my empirical evidence and also my wisdom from researching this why I got my PhD in the first place, right? So I have received an email. Woohoo! Okay. It is from a lady who has given me consent because I've emailed back and I said, do you mind if I use your name, etc. Please know if you want to contact me, you can tell me if you want to be anonymous or whether you want your name on the video. So this lady said that she can be on the video and her name is Arlette. Now she's contacted me regarding the ghost of Shelley who came to my house a few years ago. Shelley is going to be in my book, but that's now being called Ghosts, the psychology as to why they stay. And that'll be coming out in a few weeks. I've been working on it this morning. Okay, so the Shelley ghost, she came to my house, basically didn't know that she was dead, and she wanted me to take her to the hospital regarding someone else in the car accident where she died, and his name was Dave. Okay, so that's the backstory. So Arlette, uh, Arlette writes, <clears throat> back again with another question, re Shelley. <laughs> As you can see, I get a lot of emails, okay? The ghost you met who was relentlessly searching for her friend Dave. I don't understand why heaven hasn't shown some compassion on this poor young girl who is sadly lost and confused. Why doesn't the Dave she is searching for appear to her and tell her something like, Look dear, you died, just as I have, so take my hand and I will lead you into the light. Obviously, her strong desire is to find Dave. So why doesn't the law of attraction match her desire vibrationally and she finally meets up with Dave? Are ghosts subject to the law of attraction as much as we are in physical life? Aren't there stronger desires sent out into the universe and law of attraction will calibrate to those desires and fulfill, fulfill them? Wow. If enough people said a prayer for Shelley that she saw, sees the light and goes to heaven, can this excerpt enough power that it must happen? Or is her willpower so deeply rooted that nothing can break it until she actually gives up? Wow, Arlette, thank you so much for wanting to know further about stories that I've personally experienced. So let's break this down and go through it a little bit. Let's start at the beginning. The ghost you met who was reluctantly searching for a friend, Dave. She was on a relentless search. She was trying to find anyone who would take her to that hospital to see Dave, okay? I don't understand why heaven hasn't shown some compassion on this poor girl. Now, we've got to remember, when we pass over, some people instantly just go to heaven. Okay? Like I did. It was like a natural progression to get to that place. Okay? When we are there, that is when we can learn everything about heaven. Until we get there, we don't know much about it. And that's why all these people like yourself have an interest in NDE in heaven to try and work it all out. Okay? So why hasn't heaven shown her compassion? First of all, because we must remember free will. 
free will dictates our own, not only our own um, decisions, but it also creates our reality, which is our perception. Okay? Why doesn't the Dave she is searching for appear to her and tell her something like, look, dear, you died just as I have, so take my hand and I will lead you into the light. We hear these stories all the time about people who are about to pass over and they see their great-grandmother or their brother who died when they were younger. They come down to help us progress to heaven. This is true, right? We've all heard the stories. So why hasn't Dave come down? Because Shelley is still stuck. She's not on earth, but she hasn't transcended according to science. And this is where I'm getting in my book, Ghost, the psychology as to why they stay. Because what happened to me in 2001 when I died, it was science that dictated that theory of how my consciousness traveled to that perception of heaven. Shelley, on the other hand, she hasn't done that. So her perception is still stuck in psychology. Her psychological reasons for wanting to still be involved with Dave. She hasn't yet given up or relinquished or simply accepted her death okay so obviously her strongest desire is to find Dave and that is exactly why she's still here her strongest desire is psychological reasons why she's still here she is so concentrating her perspective and her thoughts about Dave and if he was okay she's foregoing her own destiny of going to heaven because her destiny at this point is to make sure that Dave was okay it's sad it is so extremely sad okay because here is a ghost Shelley who does not know because she is not aware that she has died. Now, one of the words that I'm writing in my book, even today I was just researching it, it's regarding, let me just find it, where I'm writing down all my psychology. Oh my gosh, you should see my notes, guys. I am seriously up to my ears in notes, okay? Oh my gosh, it was just here today. It was just here today where I was writing it down. Anyway, it's like an amnesia. So it's dissociation. We get this anemia that comes in where we have a memory loss. And that's what's happened with Shelley. She can't remember between the time of the accident until the ambulances were there putting Dave into the back of the ambulance. But when you read my story about her, you'll understand it was hours and hours until the ambulance arrived. And she has no memory of that time at all. Okay? She's stuck. She said to me, it's instantaneous. The ambulances were there straight away. And I said, Shelley, how could they be there straight away? Because you're on a dirt road three hours from a phone. Back in the 1970s, no one had mobile phones. So it was three hours for someone to get to a phone. And then three hours for the ambulances to get her. So it was hours and hours, probably six hours, until the ambulances got there and could rescue Dave and take him to the hospital. Okay, she had no memory of that. She had that amnesia that comes with disassoci um, dissociation. Okay, all right. So, law of attraction yes, we can use it as humans, but it is only to make our thoughts a reality. Okay, 
law of attraction dictates that what we want we will get so in this terminology thinking this way Shelley what does she want to get she wants to get to the hospital to see Dave she doesn't want to go to heaven because she's still unaware that heaven is an option for her because she doesn't know she's passed over okay why don't the angels come down and interfere two words free will they do not involve themselves with our free will okay um i'll let i hope that that clarifies why the angels won't come up come and help her they are watching her they are guiding her but it's up to her own awareness if she is listening to their messages because at this point she's still hell-bent on getting to the hospital to see dave okay um so she says aren't their strongest desires set out into the universe that is her strongest desire to see dave okay if enough people said a prayer for shelley that she sees the light and goes to heaven can that exert enough power that it must happen well we can't interfere with other people's choices never it goes against free will okay and that is in the universal laws so law the law of attraction is only one of 12 laws okay we must use all 12 laws in accordance with each other the first law of us um the law of um, the first law universal law it actually says everything is one everything is connected so therefore all 12 of the universal laws are connected okay so we can't use one without the other and that's why a lot of people fail when they're using the law of attraction because they don't realize that they're only using one of the 12 laws okay okay so um is her will pill is her willpower so deeply rooted that nothing can break it until she actually gives up and i think you've got it right there alet until she realizes that she is passed over she can never break out of that guinea pig wheel that she has created for herself going over and over and over that last day of her existence in a life exit um in a life body she's still replaying it like that guinea pig wheel where she's just going round and round trying to work it all out so when shelly was sitting here in my lounge room she was here for three days by the way <clears throat> i actually got out my mobile phone and i showed it to her and i said do you know what this is and she was looking at it like what is that i said this is a phone now no cords this is also a computer and she wouldn't believe it so i actually rang somebody on my phone and she just could not believe that they were actually talking through the phone and she could hear them so she did have a consciousness she was very intelligent but she was also highly confused highly irritable because she wasn't nice a lot of the time she was very yelling and screaming you're doing a 17 year old tanty in my lounge room even my daughter came out and said mom what is she talking about she's screaming at you so even my daughter was picking it up okay um so there you go guys shelly she's in my book about ghosts very 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 sad situation because she did not know she had passed over so she's definitely in my book okay so it'll be out in a few weeks yeah i keep saying a few weeks don't i and that's why i've been working on it this morning getting it updated okay um so i hope um i'll um i'll let that this has helped you a little bit today answered some of the questions for you please email me back after you've read after you've watched this okay um yeah if you do have questions for me regarding ghosts or spirits what's the difference i've got a video out there what is the difference between a ghost and a spirit okay so scroll down through my videos on my youtube channel and you'll be able to see a lot of videos that i've done on ghost and spirits heaven okay and other things out there okay so i hope that's enough for today i love you all um email me your questions okay my email is below in the description love to hear from you and hopefully i can put you on youtube okay talk soon Bye.
To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.